All right, I'm posing a question here. Are you ready? This sounds like an infomercial. Do you want healthier hair? Do you want stronger nails? Then you may have considered using biotin, but recent social media posts are raising concerns that taking too much of this could lead to a false negative when you're trying to figure out if you have COVID or not. So should you be concerned? Here's Liza Lucas breaking it all down for us tonight. People take biotin for a lot of different reasons. Biotin, or vitamin B7, is found naturally in some foods. There are also supplements marketed for hair, skin, and nail growth. But what does that have to do with COVID-19? Even though the medical experts suggest taking a pretty small amount of biotin to kind of maintain the levels that you need, some people take thousands of times that amount. And experts say that can be a problem for some lab tests. Because biotin bonds with specific proteins, it's sometimes used as part of the actual testing process. It's part of the mechanics of the test that it uses it as a marker. So if you're already taking high doses of biotin and then take one of these tests, there's a chance the result could be wrong. While the FDA previously warned about biotin interference for some types of blood tests, the agency says it's not aware of any issues when it comes to biotin and COVID-19 tests adding it's unlikely there would be substantial amounts of biotin and mucus in nasal samples. Still, FDA guidelines require COVID-19 test manufacturers to report if there's a chance for a false negative result after taking high doses of biotin. And we did find several cases where companies disclose that possibility. Overall, the majority of tests, though, don't report that issue. And experts say it would take a lot of biotin to impact results. So a normal multivitamin won't have anywhere near that amount of that supplement in it so you don't have to worry there. Experts say check in with your doctor or pharmacist if you have questions about anything you're taking. And remember, COVID-19 tests are a tool. They're not perfect. People should be using them, but really with respect to COVID, be guided by your symptoms. If you feel sick, it's likely that you are infected. 